Hey guys, welcome back. This will be the explanation for the hovering elytra. Let's take a look at the original one last time. Um, let me blow this up for you. Okay, what I want you to do is keep your eye on this one. Okay? And what I saw is this elytra gets dropped on top of this one this one pushes that one out of the way and then hovers over top of it. Something else I want you to watch is pretend there's an axle running through this one. Not on that one, just this one. Um, it sways back and forth along that axle, um, even right in the beginning when he's not even touching it. So that tells me something is running along that axle. Check it out. See it? When it gets bumped, it stays put. Right there, just push that one out of the way. Now it's hovering and swaying back and forth. That's how I did it. Um, this stuff is called invisible thread, and I just happened to have some. I used it a long time ago, <laughs> and it's just been sitting in my closet. There are hundreds of threads in this little uh, strand here. You pick one, you pull it out, and it's that thin. Hope you can make that out. Anyway, it comes with wax, and you stick a little bit of wax on whatever you want to hover, and then stick the string to the wax, and there you go. Let's see if we can get that sway. Look familiar? Okay. There we go. Well, that's how I did it. <clears throat> and at this point in time, only one person got it. And that is MNS Man 1 again. Good job. So, even though I feel that this video was a fraud, I want to say again that I appreciate the uh, guy for making it because it got me to do some research um, it got many people to look into Victor Grubenikov's research and uh, that's never a bad thing in my book so continue researching guys and thanks for watching